you want for some more Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? And I am ready to show you guys Wave 6, which is the final wave of the Booster Course Pack here for the Nintendo Switch. But you can see right off the bat, we also got some additions here. Most notably, you can go in here and listen to any of the, the track's music if you want. But, um, yeah, the newest wave came out by the time you guys are seeing this. It came out a couple days ago, but I'm playing this just as it's been released, so I can't wait to get into this. But before I continue on, I hope you guys have an awesome day today. hope you guys are doing well. And I am going to be doing time trials, and I am actually going to hold off playing as the four new characters, which are Peachette, Pauline, Funky Kong, and Diddy Kong for now. I'm going to wait till I do versus mode with them, but I think I'm going to start this uh, video off with Mario, I think. And then the first cup we're going to do is the Acorn Cup, and first track here that we're going to be playing is Rome Avanti, which is from Mario Kart Tour. Of course, based off the Italian capital. You can see Pauline is the the course ghost here, the staff ghost, whatever you want to call it. I think that was too early. Nope. Okay, let's see what we have. There's the Coliseum. Oh, this is cool! Oh, that is cool! Oh, I see the the fuzzies up there. Okay, not too bad so far. Oh. I just say that and I almost took a wrong turn. Oh, look how beautiful that is, the moonlight. I'm liking this course so far. Okay, I almost took... I almost ran right into the blockade there. I can already tell right off the bat I'm going to be need plenty of practice on this track because... Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to need plenty of practice on this track because there are some parts here that can be a bit confusing. That's where the fuzzies come in. Make sure you don't run into them. That was nice. I liked that. I don't know why I took a picture. But we're gonna go in and change characters because the next track I want to race on here at the Acorn Cup, I am going to be racing as... Where is he? Am I blind? Oh, there he is. I'm going to be racing as Donkey Kong. I couldn't find him at first. But we are going to be taking a trip to Double Dash from the GameCube. This was also a retro track on Mario Kart Wii. And that is DK Mountain. You can see Funky Kong is the staff ghost character here. But yeah, I've never played the Double Dash version, though I have played the Wii U version. I mean the Wii version of this. Pretty neat course, because what you do is you climb, you actually start near the top of the mountain, well, near the base of the mountain, I should say, or the other side of the mountain, and you take this canyon, this cannon, cannon, not canyon, 
see the grumpy looking mountain and then you get launched at the top of the mountain and you make your way back down. Well, these turns are tighter than I remember. Holy heck. Didn't do a good job getting my boost there. But yeah, kind of a simple track, though. Not really, because there's quite a few things to be aware of here. gonna be kind of a tricky one to get and learn exactly especially when it comes to that winding path because those turns seemed a lot tighter than that did on the uh, at least on the Wii version like I said I've never played the GameCube version so I don't know how that version plays compared to the Mario Kart Wii in this game but Let's watch out for the boulders. Yeah, that's gonna be tricky. But yeah, I'm gonna. Whenever I practice these uh, these tracks off camera, like the last one, I'm gonna be practice with Pauline mostly. This one, I'm gonna be practicing with Funky Kong. But this next course, though, it's non-negotiable, and you will see why. You probably noticed the tracks already, but this next track, I am gonna be playing as because the next track is another one from Mario Kart Wii. Well, the one that was uh, introduced in Mario Kart Wii, and that is Daisy Circuit. Nice thumbnail there of the statues with uh, Daisy and Luigi dancing, but... Yeah, is there really any other character you can play? I mean, that's more fitting than uh, on this course than Daisy. I mean, it's called Daisy Circuit for crying out loud, but... Much like with uh, DK Mountain, this course I am familiar with. And I think as far as the first lap, I'm going to go ahead and try to show off the shortcut. Apparently the game does not intend you to want to use that shortcut because the piranha plant uh, cutout being there. I didn't get my boost. I'm doing a good job not getting any coins. <laughs> Tell you what, I like this course a hell of a lot better than I do Daisy Cruiser. Don't get me started on Daisy Cruiser. I absolutely hate that stage.
Yeah, this is pretty much playing the same as, Oh, yeah, they don't- they really do not want you to take that shortcut. So, I'm not going to. I don't remember these in the original, but I know it's been a while since I played Mario Kart Wii, but I don't remember there being boosts around that turn. I will take a picture of that. But last but not least, we're gonna change characters one more time. And I'm actually going to be playing as a character that was introduced in the previous wave. And that character is P.D. Piranha. You hear he's pretty excited about it. But we are going to be playing Piranha, P Piranha Plant Cove. I'm not, it doesn't show anything. It seems to me, I could be very wrong about this, but I, this could be a Mario Kart 7 track. Though I it could very I, I think if it was if it was Mario Kart 7 it would say Mario Kart 7. Yeah, I would say 3DS if it was so I think Piranha Plant Cove is an original track. And PD Piranha is the ghost here, so Starting off underwater, like Dolphin Shoals. You see the t the toad and the, the diving of a the mass. That's pretty cute. Can we get the boost up there? Part of this reminds me of uh, Thwomp Ruins. Okay, you go right or left here. I'm gonna go right. Looks like they both lead to the same place. Of course, there's piranha plants. And you see the PD thing on the on the ground. That's so cool. Pretty interesting track so far. I'm liking this. Plenty of p places to get boost too. I saw piranha creeper statues. Oh! I thought I was running into a dead end there. Okay, this is one of these where the the laps are all different. I have to be mindful of that. Oh, hey there, Thwomp. I was just talking about you guys. Okay, now we're going left. I see a Mare. Well, there's a Mare in the thumbnail, too, so... I don't know why I said that's so surprised. Okay, this is actually a really neat track. I really like this. Oh, we're going underground. And back underwater. Those are those um, light anglerfish from, uh, I believe, New Super Mario Brothers Wii. actually pretty cool. At last, a piranha plant base level that I like. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead. And that is it for this, the acorn cup in this video. And, um... 
But yeah, the next time I see you guys, which will, be, which will be tomorrow, I'll be doing the time trials for the tracks in the Spiny Cup, which is the final cup known in Wave 6, but also in the Booster Course Pack. Hope you guys are looking forward to that. But thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I'll be seeing you guys again next time.